Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing my first duping palette video. <laughs> my duping palette, my duping video. And first of all, I just want to say hi and welcome to all the new subscribers that I've got like in the last couple of weeks and I'm so happy that you all are here and I know that a lot of you come from my friends here on YouTube when they have done the community my beauty community tag and I am so happy that you are here so okay today I am going to do my first duping video and I am a little bit nervous about this I don't know why I just am the palette that I am duping today you already know because it's in the title <laughs> but it is the millennial pinks from melt I really wanted this palette I don't know why though because pink isn't like my favorite thing here in the world but I have three palettes from Melt and all of the palette has like one or two shades that are a little bit not that good so I was like okay I think I might be able to dupe this palette within my collection and I don't know if this is still available this palette I think it is maybe I should look this up before but uh, you know me I never do so I'm going to try to dupe this palette and I have taken out one palette and some single shadows, but all of these are from the same brand. It is from Nabla. So I took the Soul Blooming palette that looks like this. I think this was Nabla's second palette. It is a neutral palette with a little blue, purple and pink. And then I also picked out some of the matte shadows from Nabla, single shadows from the matte collection so i took these and i think i know what i want to do for kind of look but i think i'm going to try to do swatches on <laughs> my arm and then put up like the swatches from the melt palette i think i be i i i should be able to do this i don't know but i'm going off cam and swatch the shades and try to dupe the palette from melt with these as good as I can okay so these are the shades that I picked out and it's not <laughs> as many as they are in the melt palette but at the same time this is just a duping video and I guess you are supposed to do like this and this is like one of the reasons why I haven't done this before because I am so like unsure on what you're supposed to do i know that i can do whatever i want with my duping video but i want it to be kind of good at least but yeah i am just going to prime my eyes and i'm going to get started to do a makeup look and i was actually like so close to buy this melt palette but then I was like, okay, I'm going to first look at at least one video about it, and uh, then I changed my mind. So, I'm happy that I didn't bought it, but I, like, have wanted it. I have wanted the color story since then, so I was like, okay, this is the perfect palette to do my first duping video. So, I will start with... I'm like not 100% sure. I will start with Bolero. This one from the Soul Blooming in my crease. And then I think I will deepen it down with this one that is a Verve. And then we will just see where this is going. And the thing that I really liked about this palette was that it was both pink and like a little bit darker as well. So... That was like one of the things that made me want to buy this palette. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like the palette is any good, but it has a really interesting color story, I think. And it looks kind of cute, but also... A little bit darker and... I like that, so I'm going to try to do like pink look, but also like a little bit deeper look. We will see what I will come up with. Then I'm going in with Verve 
in my light to deepen downward crease. I don't know if this is going to do any different like at all, but we will see. Because swatched, they look pretty different, the Bolero and Burv, but I don't know. Yes, this is deep. Do you have the Millennial Pinks palette and what do you think about it? Is it good or is it bad? I, the one thing like I've heard is the shadows are hard to blend together and will not like, it's hard to layer them as well. So both like um, build up a shadow that you have and also go in with another shadow on top. I have heard is the big problem with it and I think that a palette that is as expensive as a melt palette should be able to do that. So I think I feel pretty good about this. First my thought was like doing a whole shimmer lid but right now I'm not that sure if I'm going to be honest. I think I might want to go in with a black one and have it on my outer corner, but I think I actually will start with Climbing Rose and take it almost on my whole lid, but I want like out here to be black, but I want to go in with Climbing Rose first and I will take this on almost my whole lid then. Because I know if I'm going in with the black one first, it is going to end up like being black on half of my lid and I don't want that in this look so that's why I'm doing like this instead. So like that, I think I'm, I like took it on my whole lid. But it's some space out here that I can take the black one. And this is a single shadow from Nabla that is pitch black. And it's really, really, really black. And I don't know which formula this is. Because they have two different mattes. They have like super matte and matte. And I actually don't know. But I will take this and usually when I'm using a black I am a little bit afraid because... I know that this is really really pigmented and I don't want to be too dark. And do you see this? Take a little bit more. I like that I'm like, I'm a little bit afraid of this and then I go in with more. Now when I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I want to go take the climbing rose over this one. I will try. Maybe it doesn't want to be on top of the black. No. But I think it at least toned it down a little bit. So maybe I should just have gone in with the black first, but it is what it is now. But maybe, maybe we are onto something. Maybe. And this was like the thing I thought was so interesting with Millennial Pinks, that it was both super, super light and then it had some darker shades. It doesn't have a black. I don't think at least. it. I think it's so hard to look like on swatches. Because on some pictures it looks so like deep and almost black. And on others it, it does not. And I have a crazy amount of fallouts. Okay, I think I actually like it like this I actually do so I will put on my face and my eyebrows and then I think I want to do 
kind of the same underneath my eyes and then I want to go in with this philosophy I think like in my inner corner really like smoke it out I will fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back again okay so for my under eyes I think I would just do the same so first take bolero then take burr and go in with pitch black just out here to connect it so I taking bolero like the whole way just to smoke it out a little bit and yeah I don't need to explain and then I take pitch black just like a little bit to connect these so I don't have like So the lower lash and the eyelid goes together a little bit better. Okay, so I think I actually really, really like this. So I will put something in my watch line, put on mascara, try to take a lippy. It's always hardest with a pink look, I think. So I will fix that and then I come back. Okay, so I forgot something. I wanted to do an inner corner highlight with philosophy. Philosophy. So I am going to do that and I will spray it because if this falls on my face, I'm going to be really mad. So now I <laughs> feel more complete. For my waterline I used first a little bit of boots and then I took Honey, Drip, Honey Dude over from Colourpop and on my lips I took Gold Digger from Colourpop. And yeah, this is the finished look and I really like it. I The thing that I wanted f like from the Melt palette was I'm just going to take a <laughs> picture of it. And look at it while I talk about it. The thing I wanted was like a palette that had such light pink and then some really dark shadows because I love to mix. I am not that super thrilled with like having all super light looks right now so I really like to deepen them, deepen them down with something and then I thought like the Millennial Pinks palette you were really like able to do that and also I have started pink in me I don't know it's like this year I discover more colors and start to like them so that I was really like intrigued by because I was like I don't have that many pink palettes so also that and I think this would be a look that I would have done if I would have bought the Millennial Pinks palette. And also, I need to stop doing this, like talk and do other things at the same time. So I think that this is a kind of a good dupe to the Millennial Pinks. If you want to, the only thing with this, it has this dark brown and this dark shimmery blue purple shade so I think you can like go in with maybe black or maybe really dark gray if you want to but if you have this palette at home and maybe some other pinkish shades I don't think you need the Millennial Pinks palette and I really like want to do more like dupe my collection <laughs> because I have a lot of palettes and I don't need any more palettes and I it has like gone a little bit overboard right now with buying palettes and I am happy that I feel happy with not have bought the millennial pinks because I am afraid that if I bought it I wouldn't have liked it so yeah I really hope you like this dupe video I don't know if this was my thing I don't think I want to dupe the 420. Is it called 420? Their newest palette it has to be. I 
am planning on duping that one as well because that I really really wanted because it looked so cool but reviews on that not that good so I will try to dupe it and do maybe just a talking video or like this where I do a makeup look please let me know what you want me to do because I'm completely new at this dupe things and <laughs> so yeah, I really hoped you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!